King's Cross Energy Centre is key to the sustainable future of the UK. We're studying the acoustic enclosure of a 2 megawatt gas fired CHP, which is one of two 2 megawatt gas fired CHPs. We've also got three 10 megawatt gas fired boilers. This system is extremely efficient, it reduces ultimately bills for homeowners and business owners. Vital Energy were commissioned by Argent to design and build the infrastructure of district heating mains which supplies heat to a mixture of commercial and residential properties providing low carbon technology. My name's Des Smith. I've got a team of four gardeners. I was asked to take over the head gardenership of the Olympic Park. We were instrumental in introducing the wildflower meadows and the band of gold around the stadium. Very, very lucky to do so. Following that, I was asked then to take over here at King's Cross. It's quite interesting how many people come up and say, oh, that's really lovely, this looks beautiful. Thank you very much. I mean, it's not down to us, really. It's just what is here, and we just look after it. This is Cubit Square. This is planting designed by Dan Pearson. The sunny side of the bed here is lavender, the white lavender, Edelweiss, currently being loved by the bees. The origeron that flowers from spring right through to autumn. The bronocastrum given the height, white again, and the roses with that pink blush. Planters are an amazing feature here. Some of the biggest ones weigh about two tonnes when they're filled up with soil. These are salvias, perennial salvias, although they can be a bit tender in the winter. So we're taking cuttings as we go. We've got a, a Rus lacinata, lovely, lovely tree, brilliant oranges in the autumn. And this is a little tranquil area for people to come out of the buildings at lunchtime, um, sit on the grass. It's an essential thing to have now around offices. All designed by Robert Townsend and Andrea Dates. Here we are on the roof of the Pancras buildings. This area of the garden is uh, devoted to fruit and herbs. And as we walk through, the planting changes to more garden-esque planting. Then we come down to the really formal part of the garden, which is this lovely, what do we like to call the Chelsea Garden Lawn. To see it now, this area now, to how I remember it 15 years ago, well, it's unrecognisable, isn't it? There will be nearly 25 acres of what they call public realm after all is finished. That's a huge amount of space for a development to have. But I think in the end, that overall results will be absolutely stunning.